course, you know the reason why you wake up so early every morning, don't you? You've got a big emotional problem, Louis. Yes. I mean, it's a well-known biological fact that some of us need more than the normal outlet for our creative urges. In the old days, of course, the seven-year itch was something you scratched, not landed up in the divorce courts with. What price Romeo today, eh? Hmm. You can just see him, can't you? Writing to the papers. Worried teenager Verona. <laughs> well, I wouldn't give much for his chances if he tried to climb that drain pipe. The bloody thing had collapsed before he cut his leg over the sill. A couple of inches in the news of the world and a complex for life. Which doesn't help you any. Look at that wallpaper. Look at those stags. Oh. Three layers of house and garden pink, and they're still rampant. Probably the paint makes them breed or something, I don't know. You know, you're a stag at bay, all right, Lewis. Well, what's it going to be then, boy? Hmm? Doing something and regretting it, or not doing something and waking up in a state like this every morning? his head, darling. Daddy! I want to ask you something. Don't shout, beauty. Daddy, were you ever attractive to ladies? Morning, Mr. Davis. Uh, <coughs> Sammy Bach, come on in now. Now you come to Mum and I'll give you some nice warm milk. Letting him out like that, run over he could have been. <whistles> come on now, Sammy Bach. Now you come to Mum. Come on now, my answer. Now come on to Mum. There's a good boy. Now get in and stay in. Oh, dog, I don't know who is out on the streets. I don't know what's the matter with him. Well, 
laughing. Do you know that? What? What? Laughing. I was laughing when? All night. I was laughing all night. I, I was awake all night, you mean, don't you? You know, the first time I closed my eyes, 20 past six. Ten minutes is all I had all night. Those bloody stags, they're on the march again. Well, look, I'll give them another coat. There's still some left in the tin. Want to paint the beggars with quicklime is the only answer. Uh, uh, what's this thing doing here? Some sort of subtle hint or something, is it? No, I... I just put it out so you wouldn't forget to post it. Oh. Well, I won't forget to post it. No, well, it's just that it's been on the mantelpiece for a week. Hmm. Yes, I know that, love. I, I put it there, you see. Has to be in tomorrow. Hmm, yes. So it has to be posted today. Yes, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's why I put it on the table. Oh. Daddy! What now? Mom! Mm. You're threading on little book. Oh, uh -huh. Sorry, Bookie. Now, don't cry, Bok. Mm. He didn't mean it. Mm. He just didn't look. Mm. All better. Mm. Now, dry your eyes and eat your breakfast like a good little boy. Mm. Mm. You haven't changed your mind again, have you? I mean, you are going to apply for the job. Look, Jean, don't let's yes, go into all that again. Yes, I know you've been through it all before. I know you haven't a chance of getting it. There are other people with much better chances. That's putting it mildly. No, my trouble is I'm not sufficiently up in Welsh literature. At least if you apply, you have a chance of convincing the committee. I'd be left there with Welsh egg on my face. My pride would never stand it. What did I go in there for? Your handkerchief here. Oh, yes. That extra 150 a year would make all the difference. Jean, you don't have to convince me, love. I know what a difference it would make. But I'm realistic, you see. I don't live in a fool's paradise. No, you live in three rooms and half a bathroom. With stags. Mm. Daddy! What, love? Bob doesn't like you. He just said so. Oh, really? Jolly good. Won't hurt to post it, will it? No, love, look, I was going to post it anyway. I but... think you've got a chance. Honestly, I do. I think the days of the stag are numbered. Yes, well, I certainly hope so. Bye-bye, Freddy. Bye-bye, love. Bye-bye, uh, mm. Gwyneth. Bye-bye, mm? darling. You've got bad breath, Daddy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't forget Bulk. Bye-bye, hmm? Bulky. No, properly. You must kiss him properly, because he knows you don't like him. He's very perceptive, isn't he? Ooh. No, no. He's upside down. Uh, what else was there? Work. Huh. Yeah. Bye, John. Bye-bye, love. Rabbit! Come on, your father's waiting for his breakfast. <laughs> You know it's an offence to let a dog on the street without a collar, don't you, Mr. Davis? What? What, what do you mean, let him out? Mr. Lewis, Mr. <laughs>